Oh my god, you guys, there is the biggest freaking spider in my workout room, and I'm so terrified. Like, it literally looks like a Halloween decoration. I swear I'm gonna burn the house down. Oh my god. Do you guys see that giant thing? What? Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Like, actually, look at that. What is it? It looks like a tarantula. I have to go get Jared. <laughs> Holy poop. Do they jump? <gasps> Ew. Got it. It's gonna get back in here. That thing is so big. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> That was, funny. that was not funny. I was looking at your hand through the camera and it just disappeared and it scared the shit out of me. Okay, back to the workout. You guys, this is what I'm talking about. Stranger is the biggest baby now. He's so scared of everything. I had to move his like bowl from over here to over here because he was scared of that thing. And now he's scared of this and won't drink water, won't eat nothing. Look at him, he's so scared. His back legs are shaking. You're such a baby. You literally have to stand there the whole time and give him like positive reinsert. What is it? Wait, reinforcement. Positive reinforcement. Oh. oh. <laughs> Honey, he doesn't want you to hump you at this time. That's the wrong reinforcement. <laughs> Come here, brother. Yeah, you literally have to tell him he's a good boy the whole time. Look, he's terrified. I'm terrified. <laughs> Thank you, You're a mess. 
honey, you're about to bite my arm off. Anyway, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. As you can tell, I just got done working out. We went on a walk. I made post-workout smoothie and it's so yum. Mm. I'm currently sitting on the front porch drinking it because it's so freaking beautiful out. The weather is just gorge. But today is Friday, October 14th. It is 5.05. <laughs> you know when I saw that spider in the my workout room? Well, Jared like shoot it out in our backyard and we have ring so it caught it on the camera back there and I have to show you guys because it's so funny. So just, just watch. That was absolutely terrifying and slightly embarrassing that he got it on camera, but it made me laugh, so I wanted to make you guys laugh as well. But yeah, it is Friday night. It is the weekend. Also, don't mind my face. I haven't shaved it in a few days, so I need to do that probably tomorrow, but I don't have to do it tonight because I'm not doing anything tonight. I'm doing stuff, but we're not leaving the house, I don't think. I want to make chili tonight, and we got back from Denver Sunday, and I really wanted to do a reset video literally somebody was just walking and looking at me that was embarrassing <laughs> i wanted to do a reset video on monday but i had absolutely zero time to do it i did it but i didn't film it i didn't have any time because i had to get my video edited and get it up on monday that same day so i just didn't film it but i really 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 wanted to because I went to the grocery store and I got so many new things that I never would get and it's all because like I've kind of switched up my diet which I'm very 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 excited about after being on vacation and just eating like total shit for like the last two weeks basically I was ready to get back to my healthy eating and working out and stuff and on our way back from Denver I was just like thinking of like what I wanted to do as far as like my diet necessarily not that I'm like on a diet or anything but I feel like the word diet is just used for like how you eat if that makes sense Why am I going on this tangent? I don't know. It's leading into what I'm gonna do tonight Anyway, I decided that I really want to do paleo which is basically like similar to like the caveman's diet It's super super clean no processed foods and basically anything that caveman had access to eat that you can eat So I cannot tell you how much fruit I've had this week and it is so nice I love fruit so much, but I never really had it because it's all pretty much high in sugar really the only fruit I had was like half a banana and some blueberries but like now I'm eating like two apples and so many grapes and they are so good I'm having pineapple so basically all you have is like meat fruit sweet potatoes you don't really have whole grains so like rice and oats and stuff like that, I don't really think you can have, I'm still like learning about it. So like I haven't got it completely down. And then like obviously a ton of veggies and stuff, which has been amazing. Like the way my body has felt the last four days that I've been doing this, like it's so crazy. Like I love it so much. It's not like keto, I don't like keto. I have done keto in the past and it just, I can't do it. And people kind of compare it to keto because only for the fact that you don't eat like whole grains and stuff, but on keto you can't have sugar, you can't have carbs or anything. So like you wouldn't be able to have fruit, but on paleo you can have all the fruit you want. But yeah, there's a dog out there, so I have to put these inside. Come on, honey. Uh, people interrupting me. Okay, sorry, I had to abruptly cut you off. There was a kid walking a dog outside and I didn't want Honey to see them and then take off after them because she likes to do that. She thinks everybody is her friend and I had to get them inside ASAP. But as I was saying, wow, look at this hair. This is a hot freaking mess, a hot mess. I'm about to shower, so I'll just wash it, I guess. Um, As I was saying, I had a point to all that. I really want to make chili but I'm not gonna be making chili with beans because I don't necessarily think you can have beans on paleo. And it's not that like I can't have it. I'm not trying to like fully be strict on paleo. The one thing that I wanted to do was just eat whole foods. I wanted to like put the most pure food into my body possible. So like I really wanted to limit processed foods, which I have the last four days, other than my coffee. I still do a little bit of processed foods for my coffee, but that's just something I'm not gonna sacrifice because it makes 
me happy and I only have one a day I don't put a lot in it so I just figured that is best and I did get a more healthy coffee creamer I got nut pods so and I have got oat milk but I use literally not that much of it a day but yeah other than that that's the only processed foods I've been having and the way my body has felt the last four days is amazing like I don't know I don't know how to explain it to you I'm not trying to like talk you into it but I'm just telling you how I've been feeling how I've been switching up my foods and how I'm really enjoying it so anyway yeah I'm gonna make a paleo chili tonight you don't put beans in it it is perfect because Jared does not like beans so if I were to make real chili he wouldn't eat it or he would pick out every single bean and not eat it so yeah I just figured this is just a win-win for both of us and I'm so excited because chili is like one of my favorite things so I'm gonna be making that I really wanted to make a pumpkin like a homemade pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins too but I don't have all the ingredients and I don't want to go to town tonight to get stuff because I'm going to town tomorrow for a birthday party I think sorry I keep messing with my hair because it's just out of control you know um, so I'll probably just get the ingredients tomorrow while I'm in town and then maybe come home bake a pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins tomorrow night before Nebraska plays or something like that but that's what we're doing tonight we're making chili and we might be having a game night with our neighbors I haven't exactly asked them yet I'm literally just thinking this in my head but I just asked them if they want to so if they don't have any plans they'll probably come over we'll have a game night if they don't Jared and I will probably just chill on the couch watch a movie or something we haven't watched Hocus Pocus 1 yet so we might watch that I I'm doing nothing but talking right now. I'm sure I've talked for probably 20 minutes straight. <laughs> lol but yeah i'm gonna get in the shower wash my hair and then we'll get started on the chili making okay so i have all the ingredients that it says i'm going to need so i'll leave the link down in the description if you guys want the recipe to this but i just found it off of pinterest so you're gonna need two pounds of ground beef this is just beef that we get from my aunt because they have cattle and then it says two cans of beef broth but jared got this jug thing so I'm just gonna use this two cans of diced tomatoes two green peppers or you can do a green pepper and red pepper two medium sized yellow onions and then these are all the seasoning cumin chili powder salt garlic salt pepper and then it doesn't say cilantro but Jared loves cilantro so I'm gonna put some in there anyway yeah super super simple and it shouldn't take that long I am a big fan of chili like the chili with beans in it and everything and I went to go make it last year. Comment down below if you guys have been watching my channel for that long when I made chili last year and I used the bag of beans that came in a bag. I just put them in the crock pot and didn't know that you actually had to like cook them before just putting them in the crock pot so I had to pick every single bean out and start all over. That was a fun memory. That was actually a sad memory. That was like the weekend we put our other dog down. Comment down below if you guys have been watching me for that long because that is some real dedication on your guys' part. You're my real MVPs. But anyway, I'm going to get started on the chili and we are going to have a game night. My neighbor messaged me back and said that that sounds good so we're going to eat our chili and then have a game night. I don't know if we're going it here or going over there but I'm sure I'll keep Keep you guys updated. Chili time! freaking cool about 
the iOS update that I found out today. Been, you may have been able to do this before, I'm not sure. But say you, like me, screenshot a picture of ingredients and stuff of what you need. Well, you can actually, let me flip you around. So here's like the list of ingredients that I sent Jared to go get. I accidentally like held down in one spot on like a measurement. So you know how it says 14.5 ounces? If you hold it down on the picture, it converts it to other things that you like would need to weigh it out in. Like how freaking convenient is that? That is so crazy. I have this one. This is the pumpkin bread that I was thinking of making. So let's do like um, the half a cup. If you hold down the half a cup, it tells you everything that it like converts it to. Like how freaking crazy. The world we live in, by God. I am so amused. Okay, so we let it simmer for about an hour. It looks okay. Definitely doesn't really look like chili, but it is yeah, what it, it is. it looks like the meat kind of looks like it's not cooked. It is cooked. But maybe it's just the seasoning. We'll see. If it gives me the shits tomorrow, you'll know why. <laughs> And then I know this is processed and it's not really paleo, but I'm gonna put a little bit of shredded cheese on there. This is dairy free. And then I'm also gonna top it with a little bit of avocado because that's what it said to do in the Pinterest post. And so why not? And then I always, well not always, but for the last like year and a half, I've put a little bit of vinegar in my chili. Weird, so weird. This girl at work, she did it and she made me try it and I actually really liked it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in there. That's what? for dinner. All right, here's what it looks like. Time for a taste test. You've tried it, what's it like? Is it good? It is good? Mm. It's good? Mm. Also, I got a glass of kombucha. I haven't had kombucha in months. It's been so long, but I just really wanted it. Here we go. Alright, according to this, the time vehicle sealed on May half the blast. It's like chili. I mean, it's no chili with beans, but it's okay. It'll do. Okay, I just got the kitchen cleaned up, and we are not doing game night. My neighbor texted me and ended up saying that she has a stomach ache, and honestly, I'm actually kind of glad because I am so tired. It is 9-12, and I'm about to get into bed, but also Jared and I, like, both of our backs hurt so bad. Like, his is his lower back. Mine's kind of my whole back, honestly. But yeah, mine just started after my workout today, so I wonder if I just kind of tweaked something that I shouldn't have. I'm probably just going to lay in bed and watch one of my TV shows or something. I could get my computer and start editing this vlog, which I still might, but I don't know. I kind of just feel like chilling. But tomorrow I'm going to get up and I think I'm going to film a fall morning routine because I haven't done one of those yet. And I love filming morning routines and night routines. Not that they're like actual routines. I mean, for the most part they are, but like it's honestly just like a morning vlog or like a night vlog. So if you you ever like hesitate to like watch my morning routine videos or night routine videos just know they're another it's another vlog but just takes place in the morning time hi sister you want to join mama you want to join mama mm -hmm. i love you so i think i have a jersey shore to watch i have a teen mom to or a teen mom to watch my night is now booked i guess three episodes what oh Okay, so I have three episodes of each. So I'll probably just do Jersey Shore tonight. Maybe one or two episodes. But Jared's out there watching Back to the Future 2 or something like that. I've never seen any of those movies. So I was really lost on what was going on. And I was just ready to lay in bed. So sister and I are going to be here the rest of the night. Huh. 
Honey is tired. <laughs> she was falling asleep sitting up when I was getting into the shower. I wanted to get my camera and show you guys, but my camera and my phone were in the bathroom and I was over here on the side of my bed and I was just watching her and I knew if I was gonna move and go get my camera, she was gonna move and I wouldn't be able to show you, but it was so cute. She was sitting up like this and she was just like, It was so cute. Huh. Are you a tired girl? My baby is a tired girl. Granger's out with his dad. He's a daddy's boy. Sister is a mommy's girl. Huh. I love you. Okay, I'm signing off for tonight. Like I said, I'm gonna film my morning routine tomorrow, I think. So I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. I have a bit, uh, not a baby shower, what the heck. I have my friend's kid's fourth birthday party. And before that, I'm probably gonna go see my grandma because I haven't seen her in a while. And then Nebraska plays at 6.30. And I also wanna make pumpkin bread, so that's gonna be exciting too. But yeah, okay, Good night. Good afternoon, you guys. I almost said morning. It is not morning. It is 1.05. I just got done filming my morning routine, and now I'm going to start uploading some of the footage so I can get a head start on editing it. <gasps> Did Dad go outside and not let my sister out? That's so rude of Dad. Come on, you can go outside. So rude. See, her had a party. Oh, oh, get in on <laughs> Honey, you don't have to hump your brother all the time. <laughs> what are you doing? Getting dirty? Look how dirty you are, honey. She's just, like, I know, she's doing that so he can't get it. She doesn't want to play with it, but she doesn't want him to play with it. You are a bully. <laughs> Sister says, please throw it. <laughs> she literally does not care for the ball. She just likes to throw it in his face that she has it and he doesn't. Come here. Can I have that? <laughs> Give it to me. She's like, hey, Give I have the me. ball. I know you want Honey. this, but I have it. Drop it. Look. <laughs> Right here. And then Granger won't bring it back because he's scared to play defense against her. You're a blue <laughs> You guys are crazy. I'm vlogging on my phone right now because my memory card is in the computer because I'm getting ready to edit a little bit or at least upload all my footage from this morning. But I wanted to go to town early and go chill with my grandma for a bit and go pick up a few things for the pumpkin bread. But Jared wants to stay and watch the rest of the KU OU game. So I think we're gonna go to the party and then go to get all the stuff. And then we'll go chill with my grandma for a bit afterwards instead of going before. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I want to get you. <laughs> left the birthday party it was so fun to see all my friends and all their kids and there was a new little addition that i hadn't met yet that i got to see she was so tiny but we went to dylan's to pick up dog food almond butter syrup frick i forgot deodorant i still have not got deodorant since i've been out i just used jared's but now jared's putting gas in my vehicle and then we're gonna go see my grandma and go home make pumpkin bread or muffins or something real fast and then it's game time at 6 30. it is i think 5 20 maybe i don't know but i just wanted to keep you all in the loop and what we've been doing look what he's doing now cleaning my windows for me what a guy so we're back home now the first thing i did was throw some chili in the microwave i threw on some comfy clothes and turned on the game we just scored but nebraska's losing 10 to 7. yeah making chili because i'm so hungry say come on huskers let's score come on casey ah get out of there come on oh he got caught up well we're tied 10 to 10. that was a fast turnaround huh sister huh sister
realized I freaking forgot to put chocolate chips in them. Ugh. I'm just not very smart sometimes. Okay, it's much later. It's 10.09 and the Nebraska game just got over. They lost, but it was a very freaking good game. I'm gonna try one of the pumpkin muffins. They're all cooled now. I'm nervous though. Those are good. <laughs> what? The hell are those? <laughs> They're pumpkin muffins. They're actually pretty good. Take a bite. Don't take a bite of the chocolate chip because you won't like it. You don't like it? <laughs> I think they're pretty good. Jared fell asleep when we got home so he didn't even know I made anything. But he just woke up <laughs> and he walked into the kitchen and saw all these on the coolie rack and he's like, what the hell are those? But it is time for bed even though Jared just took a three hour nap. <laughs> these are so good. Mmm. Mmm. This is mine. Mom's mean, huh? Is mom mean to you? I'm so sorry. But I will see you in the morning when I'm having another pumpkin muffin. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this fruit. We pray that it blesses our honey and our bubbles and keeps them healthy, safe, and strong. All this we pray in the power of Jesus' name. Amen. Good girl. some food? Come on. Let's go. Come on. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's 8.54. I need to start getting ready for church here pretty soon and I'm so excited to go to church. I haven't gone to church in two weeks because I was sick two weeks ago and then last Sunday we were traveling back from Denver so I'm so excited to go to church this morning. It just makes me so happy. But anyway, I was reading my New Morning Marcy's book and today's reading just like I needed to hear it and I don't ever really do this but I just figured I wanted to share a little bit of it with you guys because I think it's something that we all can relate to so I'm not like gonna read the whole thing I'm just gonna read a little paragraph of it but at the top it always has the date and then it always has like a little sentence or something kind of just like gateway into what it's going to like talk about and stuff and I knew today's was gonna be a good one because the little devotional is the difficulties of your life are not in the way of God's plan they are a tool of it. They are crafted to advance his work of grace. And then down here it says, What is God doing in the here and now? He is employing the difficulties of life as tools of grace to produce character in you that 
would not grow any other way. So your trials are not a sign that God has forgotten you or is being unfaithful to his promises. Rather, they stand as a reminder that he is committed to his grace and will not forsake it. It will complete its work. No, he's not exercising his power to make your life easy. No, he's not at work trying to deliver your particular definition of happiness. He's giving you much more than that. Eternal, faithful, forgiving, and transforming grace. And what should your response be? James says, remain steadfast until trial. Don't become discouraged and give up. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Don't forsake your good habits of faith. Don't question God's goodness. Look at your trials and see grace. Behind these difficulties is an ever-present redeemer who is completing his work. And that just hit the nail on the head for me because obviously if you've been following our journey with like trying to conceive and stuff, it's been a long, hard journey. And it doesn't even have to be with like trying to conceive. It actually like relates to a lot of things that we're going through right now. And I wanted to share it with you because I figured like everybody is going through something and this could be relatable to everybody. But there's so many times that you just want to give up and not continue trying or, you know, with whatever you're going through. And sometimes you like question like, like, why is God doing this to me? Like, why is he making it difficult for me? And I've always tried to remember that everything happens for a reason. If something weren't to happen, our life could be so much different than what it's meant to be, if that makes sense. So all the, the good things, all the bad things, all the scary things, they all need to happen in order for us to live out our lives the way that God has planned it. That's basically what it's saying. Everything's happening because you need to go through it. You need to learn how to react to it. You need to take something away from a situation that you wouldn't be able to take away from anything else if that specific situation didn't happen to you. And so I just try to remember that, that everything is happening the way that it needs to happen for God's plan to play out. I never really share these with you. I never really talk about this kind of stuff, but it is something close to my heart and I just figured it's relatable to everybody. Just want to remind you to give yourself grace. God has not forgotten you. God is not making your life difficult for no reason. He is doing it to help you learn, help you grow, and he has a plan. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you because I saved it in my notes and if I save it in my notes I know it's a good one but yeah I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'm gonna finish my muffin these are so good like I don't feel like a lot of people would like them because they're not like super sweet muffins or whatever but at the end they have just the right amount of sweetness to be like mm, that is so good and it's really good with coffee that's like a little coffee cake you take a bite take a drink of coffee Mm, so good. But today, not much planned. The Broncos don't play today. They play tomorrow night. So I think I'm gonna spend the day cleaning the house. Definitely need to put my um, clothes away because they're still sitting in a laundry hamper. And at this point, they probably just need rewashed. But I'm just gonna put them away. <laughs> I kind of need to go to the store to get like a few things, but I don't need like a whole grocery trip you know and then i'm gonna spend a good chunk of the day editing so i can get my video up tomorrow so yeah just gonna have like a sunday reset day after church yeah i don't know what jared's plans are probably working out in the garage or something after church and then i think kansas city plays tonight i don't know so he'll be entertained by that but i'm gonna eat this and go get ready for church mm. <laughs> So we're back home from church and then after church we just ran to Walmart real fast to get what I thought was a few groceries but I ended up spending like 130 bucks. So I'm going to show you everything we got for a grocery haul. I don't think I've done a grocery haul in a long time and there's some new things that I've been getting. So honey is very interested in what I got, huh? Oh, that was so cute. <laughs> that was so cute. She knows that these are for her. But anyway, we needed some salsa, fish oil pills, pure vanilla. Finally got some deodorant. And I got, oh wait, what? This is an acorn squash, not a spaghetti squash. That said spaghetti squash on the thing. Oh, it says acorn squash right here. I don't know. I've never seen an acorn squash. But then I got a pineapple. This is not very ripe yet. It's still really hard. We had to Google how to pick out a good pineapple in the store. But I figured I would just get it and then like let it ripe here at home. Then I got some more kombucha. I got the guava goddess. This is like 
my favorite kind. I got the Harmless Harvest Coconut Water. I tried this a long time ago on my channel, if you guys remember, and I didn't really like it that much. And I don't really like coconut water on its own, but I've been using this to mix in my protein shakes and it's so good. And then I got some more Nut Pods coffee creamer. This is a caramel one, some egg whites, some peas and carrots. These are for Granger and Honey when I make their food mixture in the morning. Some sliced mushrooms, two cucumbers, actually I got three cucumbers for the doggies. Jared got some ketchup, some ranch, and then I got some baby carrots, two avocados, bananas, pecans, pumpkin pie spice, some Malayan pink salt, almond flour, and then some grapes. These grapes I got last time, and they are so freaking good. The best grapes I've had in my life. It's very yummy. And then I got some turkey bacon and some eggs. And that's your grocery haul, honey. Now you need to put it all away, okay? I need you to put it all away for mom. You need to do your part here. Hey, she just untied my dress. Speaking of low OTD, I thought I'd give you mine for church. I'm wearing this little button down dress that I got from Shein with my white cowgirl boots from Amazon. So cute. Can you spin? Trudy, one, two, three. Did you see that? Watch. One, two, three. <laughs> You're gonna dance with mama. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. Okay, I just got done eating. I made like this almond flour crusted chicken. And it was so good. I enjoyed it very much. And I made Jared some regular potatoes, green beans, carrots, and I made myself sweet potatoes, green beans, carrots, because he doesn't like sweet potatoes. What do you want? I am trying to talk, not to you. <laughs> Eat your paw. Eat your paw. <laughs> but anyway, I need to get started on that giant pile of laundry over there. Where's that? Where's that? There we go, over there. And I need to put that all away. I don't want to, I kinda just wanna lay here and watch the game or watch some YouTube or something. Um, I think I'm gonna throw on a few YouTube videos first before I switch it to the game. I know Kayla, I can't remember her last name, but she just announced that she was pregnant last week or two weeks ago. 
and she just uploaded a video today like of her telling her family and all her friends so i want to watch that and then baby hey uploaded a video yesterday i think so i want to watch that too and then i'll switch over to the game because i'm sure i'm gonna be back here for forever with the pile of clothes that i have to put away so yeah i need to stop procrastinating <laughs> freaking waited like four weeks to do that that literally took like 20 minutes i need to remember to do things on my very first thought i was listening to the what we said podcast the other day and i think jc said her dad's famous quote is um something like if you do the thing you're thinking of in the moment it'll never have a second thought or something like that something along those lines so basically meaning if you're like oh hey i should put my laundry away do it then and then you won't have to do wait and it won't keep building up jared's watching the game <laughs> apparently the chiefs aren't doing great i'm done putting my stuff away i still have to put those in in our other closet but then i'm gonna probably go chill on the couch take my computer and start editing okay it is a little bit later it's 7 18 now and i've just been laying on the couch watching the rest of the chiefs game they ended up losing and now jared's it's upset he's in the garage cleaning it out but i was i was mainly laying there editing and playing that addicting game on my phone but now i'm kind of chilly so i want to take a bath No privacy whatsoever. Mmm, kombucha and a wine glass in the bath. Does it get much better than this? 